for tonight at midnight. That's the deadline that the university has given the students who are a part of this Justice for Palestine movement right outside of the library commons here on campus to get out of here. And that's why you see this is a pretty much a 180 from what it looked like earlier today as they have broken down most of the tents and the tarps that were barricaded around uh, creating uh, this uh, barricade, obviously, from people from getting into the movement that was happening here. But again, this is because of an agreement that students are elated that they have decided to the university has decided to end all of its all of its investments over in Israel. But now many of these students who are here at Sac State campus are turning their eyes to their fellow students down I-80 East to join the movement happening over at Davis. We're really grateful that it happened the way it happened. Victory for students at Sac State in solidarity for support in Palestine. It's not over yet, but their fight is far from over. We're all very proud of ourselves, but we also have all been reminding ourselves that the struggle continues. Jack, who camped out in the library commons for 10 days, tells Fox 40 Sacramento State University worked with the pro Palestinian students to change its investment policy. They are not allowed to have any investments, direct or indirect, that profit or benefit or support um, genocide, ethnic cleansing, or any other human rights violations. In other words, the university, including every organization under the school's umbrella, plans to end all financial dealings in Israel and prevent any future foreign investments that violate the new policy. <laughs> One of the few pro-Palestine protests across the country to accomplish this feat. A Sac State University spokesperson saying in a statement on the agreement, quote, we are pleased that we have reached resolution of the issue at the heart of the encampment. We believe it's important that our efforts to fund students' education do not rely upon us benefiting from companies that profit from ethnic cleansing, genocide, or human rights violations. The policy is intentionally meant to cover the many atrocities and challenges that are taking place all over the world. We're going to keep fighting until the entire CSU system as a whole divests. We're going to keep fighting until there's no more ethnic cleansing in Palestine. Now these students scurry to tear down and clean up their encampment and trek 20 miles to UC Davis to join their fight. Now, again, these students have been given a deadline of midnight tonight to be out of the Library Commons area here on Sac State campus. So they are working to get everything torn down and moved out before then. And then after then, once again, we are told that students, at least most of them, are going to be making their way over to UC Davis to help out with their protest that just started earlier this week. Now, students telling me, obviously, they know not all of them can, them can make it over to UC Davis. They still have uh, classes here on campus at Sac State for the rest of the week to uh, abide by that or to make up for it, they are going to be sending all their resources over to Davis to help out with students in their fight. Reporting live at Sacramento State, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.